yo yo best part about this you have a private balcony that looks at the nile river and then the city Coo -coo. ready yes. the chef is waiting for us he's gonna cook us a nice sushi posada i rented the whole restaurant for you for free <laughs> Okay, so we're just leaving Alexandria and headed to Cairo. We got our Mr. Muhammad here, our driver, who drove from Cairo to here and now making a round trip back to uh, Cairo. So this video is all about uh, Hilton Conrad. So that's where we're headed. We're gonna be there for a couple days. And then on Monday, we are heading out to, uh, where are we going? Uh, Greece, yeah, Athens, Athens, Greece. So we're excited about that one. So it should be a short flight two-hour flight across the Mediterranean to the other side so we got about three three and a half hour drive back to Cairo so let this road trip uh, start you guys excited yeah yeah you sure yeah. <laughs> Maria game. playing game 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 every, every day play a game either playing game or swimming pool playing game swimming pool So we just checked in to uh, Conrad, uh, Cairo after about three, almost four hours of driving from Alexandria. Traffic was really bad. Somebody important was coming through because you had police officers like every uh, few yards. So far, so good. I mean, this is there about four floors uh, here that are renovated, completely renovated. The rest of the hotel, uh, like, you know, 20 to 24 is renovated. The rest of it is not renovated. It's the original hotel. So, but the renovated part, it looks good. So far, so good. So you got uh, new carpets, new doors, smells like new paint. So let's go in, check it out. We are room 20, I mean 2120. Here we go. So as you walk in, you'll notice the storage on the right hand side. And you definitely got plenty of space. You got ropes, iron board, iron, another storage place right here. Uh, and you got drinks so these are you know these cost money coffee and tea is free of course and then on the fridge you have you know more drinks so you have red bull cola drinks you got hanukkah beer and then something else which i think is a local beer here then you got some uh sweets and these are your cups which like they have not been cleaned for a while it's full of dust all right, and let me show you the, and then you have a big mirror right here on the wall, which is really nice. The bathrooms here are actually really, really nice. You got a walk-in shower and you got a nice huge tub. For the space this room offers, it's actually, you know, it's good to have both. You have a nice uh, mirror with lights, yo-yo, and then all tile. Then you have a bathroom with a bidet in here and a bidet built into it. Really nice bathroom. I really like it. Uh, you know, not the biggest bathroom in the world, but it's nice. And then the showers is definitely tall enough for somebody that's, you know, taller, taller than me even. And the room, we, we did not get upgraded. The only thing that we got, what they call upgrade, is higher floor. So we have two beds, one for us, one for the kid. We're waiting for Cito's baby crib, but we're going to put somewhere here. I wish that sofa would open up or we would have gotten a king room, but it does not open up. Nice painting on the wall. You have uh, enough seating. You got one, two, three. And you got four right here. So kind of short chair. TV is cricket. I just noticed the TV is cricket. So we're gonna fix that. And then you got a nice desk right here. And even put more stuff right here, kind of out of sight, out of mind. And of course, the best part about this, you have a balcony, private balcony, that looks at the Nile River and then the city. And so here we go. Now this place is sold out. I mean, you literally have buses like this just coming in like every hour checking in. So it's a sold out hotel. There you go, you have it. 
Hilton, Conrad, Cairo. So far, very good. Wish we checked in our first time here versus the Hilton by the airport, but it is what it is. They did not have the upgraded rooms. Back then when I was looking, they only had the old rooms where these are very, very limited. So I'm surprised we even found them. You got two seating areas in the balcony and a nice table. And it's a good size balcony. I feel like the balcony in the bathroom is bigger than the room itself. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Ready? Good one, job. Two, zero. one, two, zero. Good job. How was the bathroom? Bathroom nice? How was the balcony? What do you guys think? Monkey Sido? Bad Sido? Keep crying Sido? You like the room? No. You don't like the room? No. no? <laughs> Why? Why do you like the room? You mad? Pseudo mad. All right, that's it. That's the kid version. You mad? Pista, pista. You mad? Why are you mad? All right, so we're at the executive lunch breakfast now. So we have fruits here, pineapple, watermelon, honey. You have chicken sausage and beef bacon, steel fried noodles and brown potatoes. You have uh, steamed veggies, roasted tomato with cheese. You guys, different kind of breads here. Salad bar with dressings, cucumber. That's my favorite white cheese. You got your cold cuts. Typical Middle Eastern appetizer, hummus, baba ganoush. And you got cake, muffins, your cereal here. My kids' favorites. These are yogurt stations. Wrap it up with full cream, strawberry juice, steamed milk, and guava juice. So pretty good, pretty good selection for uh, breakfast. Not bad. And the executive lounge, and I'll show it to you here, it's kind of packed. So I wait for people to leave. You know, it's a good size. It's very clean. It's newer. You can tell that, you know, very new. But look at this view, baby. So you have a panoramic view of uh, Cairo. We're on the 22nd floor. That's how tall and high we are right now. You know, I feel bad for some of those buildings, man. They're in rough shape. And unfortunately, it's very common here. And Cairo is a very, very big city. That's the Nile River right there. This is the most tourist spot in town. And that's Hilton right there. And we're at Conrad. So that's just one of the Hilton. There's another Hilton somewhere that way. There's another Hilton somewhere over there. But that Hilton is like, you know, it's older than my grandpa. So if you want to stay and get a, the best feel and the best room from a, you know, newly constructed perspective, you want to stay at the Conrad on the top four floors, uh, not the bottom 20. Bottom 20 is still old from like 40 years ago. I still got the green carpet. And that's the main entrance right there. All right, let's go downstairs, check out the breakfast at the main lobby. So this is one side of the uh, executive lounge. I really like these individual seats that you can just hang out here by yourself, kind of stuck in the corner. And they have a couple of private spots like this, you know, tucked away in the corner for a family. You got a couple here, you got a couple over there as well. So I really, really like this. Okay, so we're at the se second floor main lobby area for the restaurant, so this is the main breakfast area. Definitely a lot bigger. The selection is just slightly more, surprisingly. I expected much, much more, but the selection is slightly more. So let me show it to you. All right, folks, I want to give a special, special shout out to Mr. Imad Al Kaslani, manager at the hotel. You know, I was showing him first day of breakfast uh, that I had sushi for breakfast back in Thailand, and he was, you know, extremely blown by it. And to our shock, next day when we showed up for breakfast, he literally had a plate of sushi made for us for breakfast because I was telling him how amazing that was and how we got hooked on it. Never thought that I would have sushi for breakfast. And then the sushi was so good, he invited us over to the restaurant for dinner to have more all-you-can-eat sushi. Wanted to make sure uh, that he gets a shout out. You know, it's not every day you get to meet folks like him that love what they do and go to the extra mile uh, for customers. So thank you, Mr. Uh, Imad. You were amazing to us. Sushi. Yummy. Yummy. All right, so we'll start out with the cheese section. So you got the cheese balls, white cheese that you had upstairs. Same thing as the yellow cheese in uh, different selections. So the only thing that you really have here that's different is the cream cheese with tomato, which uh, to me doesn't taste good. Salad bar, potatoes, olives, and more dressing here. I believe they had three upstairs. I 
appetizers here. So this is a smoked salmon, smoked eggplant, hummus, spicy cheese, baba ganoush, uh, spicy hummus, and tahini. Cold cuts, breads here, bread station, donut here. Was my kid's favorite. Must start all the way from the back, work my way down. Vegetable noodles. There you go. Vegetable, moussaka, which is eggplant, cooked in tomato paste, baked beans, grilled kofta, beef and chicken sausage. And you have an omelet station here that they can do omelets for you. Boiled eggs, got it. All right, hash brown. Egyptian hash browns. Yes. Yeah, vegetable. Egyptian bread. Okay, yeah, that's my favorite. I like that. And then grilled, grilled tomato. And that, and that right there, guys, it looks like a pita bread that we have yes. in the US. Yes. And honey. Honey. Yes, Pizza, okay. Yes. And what is this one? Petir. Petir, yes. okay. Too much butter. Is it cheese in it? No, 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 nothing. Nothing? Yes, for me, like that. Yeah. But I want sugar, spicy cheese, uh, cream, honey, black honey, tahina. Tahina, okay. Just okay. some rice with milk. Rice milk, okay. Couscous, okay. Yes. Yep. Omali, yep. Yes. I know that. We had that. French okay. toast, okay. Good, perfect. And then you got yogurt station here. Then you got your cereal station here. All right, guys, so this is the Egyptian fool. Egyptian food? Yeah. Fool. Fool, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I like it. It's my favorite. Egyptian. Yeah. Okay, so that was two breakfast options. What you get at Executive Lounge and what you get at the main restaurant. You know, they're both really just about the same food, maybe a little bit more selection on the uh, main restaurant. I personally prefer the Executive Lounge because you get a better view of the city and the Nile. That's my personal choice. So that's where we're gonna go eat. Breakfast with the family is go eat at the Executive Lounge. And now I'm at the swimming pool area. So let's go check out what this place has to offer. All right, so this is the pool right here for a hotel that's this large and it's sold out in my opinion it's a small pool as this is the only one I've found so far I have not found another one it's 2.4 meters deep and that's the bar area right there so that's where you can get drinks definitely small for a Conrad brand I've seen better sewing pools at Hilton and Doubletree uh, let's see what else we got. Like you have an open space where it looks like they do some weddings, maybe wedding celebrations. Yeah, you got toilets. You have a like huge oven right in the smack middle of the uh, area. So it looks like that's the gym over there. So we'll check that out in a minute. All right, so here we are. We're at the gym. Looks like newer equipment. Yeah, like they look brand new. So that's good. Looks like you got a lot of options here. So you got four and four, so you got eight uh, exercise machines and then the uh, weight machine in the middle. And then let me show you the second part where the treadmills are. All right, not bad, a lot bigger than the pool. And then they have TVs built in, so that's nice. So you got lockers here. So you got uh, 14 lockers. So we got sauna. There you go. I know it's dark, but it's hot. You can feel it. And this is the steam room right here. And then the relaxing room right here. And you got showers here, you take a shower. This is the massage room, nice, big space. You got music. The sauna, the steam room, the gym is open 24 seven, which I'm kind of shocked because most saunas and steam room are not 24 seven. As you saw in the video, the shower area is just freaking gross. You got mold and all kinds of stuff. And it's just old tiles. You got white tiles that look like black and gray. So the shower area is just freaking gross for a hotel like Conrad. I mean, come on, it's a couple shower stalls. Freaking change them out. The, the sauna actually smelled really good. It was very clean. The uh, steam room, I wouldn't even walk in front of it anymore. The steam room smelled like somebody took a freaking huge dump in there. It smelled bad. Uh, don't take a shower here, take a shower in your room. That's what I would do. The massages. So massages are open from 11 to 10 p.m. And they, they have pricing, so standard price. This is standard price, no discount. Deep tissue massage for 50 minutes. I don't know why it's not 60, 50 minutes for 110 pounds. Egyptian pounds, uh, which is not bad. Uh, I would say it's pretty standard price. You know, in the US, it might be slightly more. If you buy two, you get 25% off. So if you and a couple does it, you get 25% off. So there's some discount there. So that's it for the amenities. I'm still looking to see if they have kids club and stuff like that, because they typically do. So I'm still searching for those. So let's see what else we find.
So this is what not renovated floors look like. So this is floor uh, three, I believe. So you can see it's just old, very, very old. It smells like cigarette, this is smoking floor. And just to give you a comparison, this is our floor. This is a renovated floor, floor 21. You can see the carpet's newer. You have tile, you know, more tile on the walls. You have a seating area. You have you know, nice paintings. And it definitely looks wider, for sure, than downstairs. And these are non-smoking rooms. So we got a few hours left before we check out of here and head to the airport to catch a flight to Athens, uh, Greece. It's the last couple hours. Um, the sushi was so good that we wanted to try during the uh, dinner time. So with that said, the chef is waiting for us. He's gonna cook us a nice sushi before we catch our, um, uh, catch our flight. So that's where we're headed to. We are supposed to go yesterday, but we uh, went out with the Egyptian family and stayed out till three o'clock in the morning. So today, that's what we're doing. We're gonna go catch some sushi uh, on the third floor. So let's go. Yeah, sushi, yummy. I'm playing new game. <laughs> So we're at the uh, restaurant. It's just us. So Sarah, I rented the whole restaurant for you for free. <laughs> they have all you can eat sushi uh, option here. It's a uh, 500 pounds, which is about 20, 25 bucks. Ready, I'm here. That's what we ordered. So me and uh, Sarah are gonna go eat, eat all you can eat sushi and then get on a plane. So either the best idea ever or the worst idea ever. <laughs> worst ever. And that's Marwa here. Uh, medium here, Cito here, and y'all know this one. And we got hour and a half before our driver gets here, and we haven't packed yet, so should be fun. Okay, so I forgot, forgot to mention, with the all-you-can-eat sushi, you also get a soup. So this is our miso soup right here, so let's give it a taste. It's actually pretty good. All right, so sushi is here, and let me tell you, it looks amazing. Dang! So this is our first batch of sushis. It's shaped like a butterfly. Yeah, it's like flower. Right there, see, it's flower. Oh, there you go. Oh. Thanks so much, brother. So we had all that sushi. We had a second platter that you did not see on videos. So we had a second platter of sushi. The kids had three kids meals. We had a dessert, you know, all that. $44. How freaking amazing is that? 44 US dollars. Sushi was the bomb.com. With that said, we're late as heck to the airport. So we gotta go pack. So make sure you watch the next video. We're going to Greece, Athens, business class. Uh, we're excited to uh, go check out the other side of uh, the Mediterranean.